Eugene Donnelly and Paddy Toner in the McGee and Motorsport Mini are really settling in now and set second fastest time here on stage five. Sixteen hundred World Rally car is at full stretch, and Eugene's beginning to explore the outstanding grip and braking available in this new generation machine. Those grip levels are about to drop dramatically on stage six as the left rear tyre is deflating. And we're only close to the beginning of the stage. By Cahola Strain Village, the tyre is coming off the rim. This could be the turning point in the whole rally. Eugene is unaware of Tim's troubles, so he must be despairing as he focuses on keeping the mini between the doorway dry stone walls. 40 seconds have been lost. The mini duo dropped a third by the second Hedford service. However, at stage seven, Sasha Otto Kilkuna test set the first fastest time for a mini WRC in Ireland to the delight of a huge crowd. They're there to witness this little bit of rallying history. Tim has to nurse the S11 and Preza home, and Eugene Donnelly smells victory now in the Conquin Mini WRC. They have to catch the new leader, Darren Gass, in the solo Subaru. Eugene is fastest on stage eight by just over a second, but there's more to come. On stage nine, he launches the Mini to another fastest time, five seconds faster than anyone. Starts the final stage, 17 seconds off the lead. It's an all-out effort after that costly stage six puncture, and the Mini is now really showing its potential. But that's 17 seconds to make up on Darren Gas. Surely that's too much to ask of the new Mini. Eugene and Paddy Toner give it everything on the final stage, passing McNulty and taking 15 seconds from the leader. But they end the event just 1.3 seconds behind Darren Gass. But you know, I have to say, we had a great day, a fantastic day. The car is brilliant. It's, it's uh, everything we thought and a little bit more. As we move on to the black stuff at Dykes Road, where Daniel McKenna blasts into the car park. One hundred and thirty horsepower going to the back wheels. Requires delicate throttle control in these damp and dirty conditions. Daniel and co-driver Andrew Grennan were fastest by less than a second on Dykes Road. Now it's onto the rail stuff on the kill bag test, and they're settling in well. Last year's Donegal modified winners will be 10 seconds faster than their rivals in the slippery stage. And this extremely treacherous section will claim one of their main rivals. McKenna, like Gary Jennings and Donna Kelly, gets caught out on this tight 90 degree left. It's nothing too serious. Nevertheless, they command a 12 second lead by the first service. Yeah, it's very slippy. Um, I was actually surprised with the grip we were getting on the fourth stage. It wasn't too bad, but the second one was very, very bad. There was a square left of the wall on stage two. I think we were. National leader Daniel McKenna shows us just how fine the line can be on the Kenny Galway Kilbeg stage. He got away with that one on the corner that had earlier claimed Alan Ring. Further down the stage, the Scambit's escort seems to misjudge its braking distance by a large margin. Headbutting these boulders isn't to be recommended. Gone is the national rally lead. Yeah, just a break too late into a junction and I break myself and nowhere to go into so into a wall. Luckily enough it didn't do too much damage, but we, we burst our oil cooler. We got to the end of the